I'm Joe Barrington and joining me we've got uh, legend of squash Jonah Barrington. Jonah, we're, we're, thank you for joining us for the, the Origin Series. Um, we're going to talk today about the solo practice. You pretty much again invented the solo practice. People have obviously gone on court in the past um, and, and hit balls on their own, but I, I would say not necessarily with a, a plan in place. Um, mm. But, you know, we are fascinated to go through kind of your take on the solo practice um, from when you were playing and when you were starting off and experimenting and, and obviously then through to your implementation of it when you became a coach and with all these great players that you've trained and and how you see it, you know. As yeah, it is, well, as I certainly couldn't suggest that I invented um, solo hitting because I would imagine that over the years there were plenty of people who hit balls a bit on their own and so on um, a bit but I don't know to what extent anything was ever organised and ever knew of it. I was lucky, Joe, because I had a great coach, uh, Nazarullah Khan, and he abided by the need to hit balls, and, he, and his mantra was hitting balls on your own. So when I came under his tutelage, um, he laid down that there wasn't to be a day when I wasn't practising, and he would get quite fiery and um, and anno very annoyed if uh, he felt that I wasn't actually doing my bit on the court on my own. And, and I remember one day very early on uh, at the Lansdowne Club in London and I think I was sitting having a cup of tea when he came along and he asked me what I was doing and I said, said I'm having a cup of tea Naz and he said you're not on the court. <laughs> and I said no I've been on on, on the court, um, uh, you you have to be on the court. You have to be on the court. 